We've shot some video to show you how we go through something called a behavior assessment for our dogs here. Our students learn not just how to as assist in surgery and to do nursing, they have to protect our animals from People want to hug pets and we need to know signs to look for to, to tell to see if that animal is comfortable, which is key to preventing dog bites. We look for a look away, which means while the animal is being hugged, the animal will turn its head off to the side instead of normally, you know, to the person like this. So on this particular cat, she was reacting but not running. The dog was responding to her but not in an aggressive way. It was more of an interested way. In general, that cat would probably eventually learn to get along with the dog. When the dogs were introduced, there was a male dog and a female dog. And in the dog world, the females ruled the roost. When he came in and figured it out, that was an acceptable way that he responded. In this test, we're kind of looking for what we would consider resource guarding. Let's say Lassie has a really great pig ear and she's chewing on it and she loves it and I come up and I try to take it. Instead of just taking it from the dog, you want to give them something in return. And what we're looking for is how they react. Are they growling at you? Are they showing any signs of discomfort? If the dog is okay with it, they might give you a little lip lick or they might trade easily. The biggest thing we want to avoid here is the chance of biting. The umbrella was something that we assume this dog has never seen before. So we just put it out for the dog to see, and we want to see if the dog frightened. A fearful dog is just as likely to bite as an aggressive dog. One of the behaviors is a paw raise, so their paws. One would raise. That's actually a very good sign. It means that they're comfortable. You see the dog do this kind of wide-eyed, kind of like stare. That's called a whale eye, and it is actually very, very bad. It means that the dog is getting very close to its threshold and he may actually bite. Okay, we have a very excellent veterinary technician program, and we have a, a national test every year that they have to take to be certified. Our students have a 100% pass rate in the nation.